very interesting table in which we find once is the Torah, Simchas Torah, the joy of the Torah. Yeah, we know quite well about this festival, which is the climax of Sukkot. So it is happiness and joy, and there is a big joy about Torah, because written there is a verse in Psalm which says, Pikudei Hashem Yesharim Esam Chilev, yeah, the commandments of God, which was the heart. So happiness and joy definitely is by keeping Torah, by studying Torah, and once this is the time that we finish the cycle of the portions of the Torah, of Yisrael Tabacha, the last one, so great happiness and joy. So it is called Simcha Torah. So once in the Torah we found it, so we saw, I want to see whether this year has to do something unbelievable. Even it looked like a big uh, skip, but as I said, those letters, Pei Gimel, are not so usual. And also interesting that it appears here with a letter, which is the same letter of Simchat and Tavshin Pei Gimel, sharing letter. Parallel Kamashiach, Messiah, and it is famous idea known by Nathan Ebersheh that basically the letters Mashiach are like Isamach. Isamach, Messiah will bring us happiness and joy. Mashiach, definitely. The time of Mashiach, peace and tranquility will be joy and happiness, no doubt. So here you have parallel to Simcha Sora Mashiach. Hoping that he will come on the year 5783, where we are now, 2022, and this is really exactly the right time because this is sabbatical, and our rabbi tell us that Messiah is supposed to come on this year after sabbatical. So, apparently, we need something for him. Teshuva comes in red, the Hebrew word, returning or repentance. Yeah, keeping the Torah, Jews to keep Shabbos and everything they have to keep, and the the seven laws of Noah they have to keep. So, if they will be, they will have Messiah, you have twice Messiah, Messiah, son of David, and Messiah, son of Joseph, and the name of the Messiah, Ben Ishai, son of Jesse, who come with Elijah together. And you have Ephraim, this is the Messiah, son of Joseph, will come to pave the way for Saab and David. It's an interesting table, as once in the Torah, you know, Simchas Torah, and parallel, which is significant, and sharing letter also not so usual. So all together shows that if we do tshuva, repentance, we will have the Messiah, but what we can do, the Satan is strong, you know, people, like to go on Sabbath first on top yeah, with their cars and definitely translating the Shabbos and so no. And keeping the Shabbos is one of the conditions for Messiah. As we know, the Torah tells us when Jews came out of Egypt and they desecrated the Shabbos, the Emir came to fight with them. And also, it's written the Torah tells us when Jews ask questions, there is a God with us or not, Emir came. When they were losing commandments and doing the mitzvot commandments, Refidim came them up. So unfortunately, this is exactly what is now the situation. Many Jews, unfortunately, don't keep properly Shabbos and mitzvot and so on. So what we have is meantime troubles, <laughs> which come so strongly those days in Israel, you can see. No, hoping that really what will be Israel just will do tshuva, you know what we can do, this is what uh, two, more than 2,000 years ago Rabbi Ishmael says, Rabbi Yezer Okunus said about Ishmael, the meaning of the word Ishmael is God will listen, what he will listen to, so Rabbi Sela, that the Arabs will do in the end of time so many tribes to Jews that they will to cry to God and then <laughs> they will realize that without the help of God uh, we will not have peace and quiet from the Arabs, more and more terror. Not Lapid will help, not Venetian will help, because the only help is 
doing Shiva repentance, then he will have Elijah coming, the son of Jesse, maybe the son of Joseph, if one will come before, and will have really Messiah, say of David, he Messiah, very small skip, and he apparently is for Messiah, and he will ismach, he will bring us happiness and joy. So interesting and very significant table for these days that we are now in Israel, just as they started Simcha Sore, but we have here what, uh, a day we should call Shmini Atzeret, and then Simcha Sore. So interesting and significant table for our time.